Good evening. He was lying in a ditch for more than 12 hours after crashing his motorcycle last week along I-43. Tonight, we are hearing the story of how 20-year-old Alex Gimza managed to survive through his sister, who spoke exclusively with TMJ4. Alex is still in the hospital. He's recovering from injuries he suffered in the crash. His sister Kelly visited him in the hospital. You see both of them in this photo. Lighthouse reporter Ryan Jenkins explains how Alex is doing now and has his sister's emotional thank you to those who finally stopped to help. I gave him a big hug and he was like, you're the first person to hug me. And I was like, good, because I'm your sister. <laughs> Kelly Geimza is sharing new details about her brother Alex as he recovers in the hospital following a motorcycle crash last week. Alex is the sweetest kid in the world. The Waukesha County Sheriff's Office says 20-year-old Alex Geimza was traveling at a high rate of speed on I-43 near Beloit Road when he crashed into a ditch. I went to the sheriff's office Monday to pick up the crash report. It says Alex was wearing a helmet with a tinted visor, and because it was dark out, Alex lost his ability to clearly see the road. These photos from Alex show the mangled bike. This report says the crash happened just before 11 p.m. on Tuesday. Alex would lay in this ditch for more than 12 hours before Good Samaritans noticed and called for help just before noon the next day. In this video obtained by TMJ4 News, you see a driver waiting on the side of the road with Alex. Kelly says two people stopped. Thank you for stopping because my brother, he remembers like hearing rush hour traffic and he remembers nobody stopping for a while. Alex was rushed to Freighter Hospital where he now faces a long road to recovery. His brain is there, he's awake, he's lucid and stuff, but because of his injuries, he still doesn't have like feeling from the waist down. Um, because he hurt his spine. His family forever grateful to the people who called rescue crews to the scene. I'm happy that he's alive and like somebody stopped and saw him and did that because like, sorry, <laughs> you just don't know. And Alex's family has set up a GoFundMe fundraiser to help cover medical costs. They tell me he'll likely be working on his recovery for months. Reporting in Waukesha County, Ryan Jenkins, TMJ4 News. Ryan, thank you. And if you would like to donate to Alex's GoFundMe page, Ryan has included a link within this story at TMJ4.com.